<laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kamea and today I have a theory that I would like to tell all of you. Kind of a small theory on what is the Lionels that have been in the Legend of Zelda franchise. So, let's talk about the Lionels. So first off, let's just talk about the origins of the Lionel. Lionels have appeared in five games now. The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, Oracle series, A Link Between Worlds, and now Breath of the Wild. Lionels are very powerful, and they come in very different colors. They usually drop rare ores, which will lead me to my next point of this theory. When you obtain a Savage Lionel Crusher, it reads, This Lionel made two-handed weapon is immensely heavy thanks to its rare metal from Death Mountain's Peak. When we look at the Savage Lionel Bow, it reads, This Lionel Bow is made from a special steel found at the peak of Death Mountain. It has tremendous stomping power and can pierce thick armor as easily as thin paper. When you obtain a Savage Lionel Shield, it reads, This ultimate Lionel Shield is used only by the white-haired Lionels. It excels at defending against even the most brutal of attacks and cutting down powerful foes when deflecting. I think it's safe to say we know for a fact that the Lionels are smart. Judging from the fact of their items that they craft up in Death Mountain, I wouldn't just say that they're foes or fearsome lion-like foes. They're smithies and they know how to craft. Just look at their items and weapons that are in the game. They're the best, and they can actually exceed the Master Sword. And one of the memories, you can actually see all the enemies that Link cut down while Princess Zelda was with him. You see in the memory that there are not one, but two white-haired Lionels there on Death Mountain. But then a hundred years later, what happened? There are no Lionels there anymore. That's because Link drove all the smithies out. He drove all those Lionels out, and now all they want to do is live in peace with basically the best armor and the best shields and the best swords in the game. My last key evidence that I've found that maybe the Lionels have forged some of their equipment from the ores is two pieces of evidence. The first piece of evidence is the fact that at the Colosseum ruins, just up north from the Great Plateau, we see a golden lionel that has a great flame blade. And the great flame blade reads, This magical sword was forged in the lava of Death Mountain. It leaves white hot flames in its wake when the flame glows red. I believe in this theory that the lionels used to live up in Death Mountain and used to use some of the ore around Death Mountain to forge and make weapons. However, for some reason they wanted to battle everyone and maybe Link and Zelda were sent up there to defeat them. However, when he did defeat them, they were all spread out and that's why there aren't any at Death Mountain anymore. So what do you guys think? Do you think Link, a hundred years ago, drove all the Lionels away, which spread them all throughout Hyrule? Or maybe there's something else that we're just missing and that we'll never really probably know about the Lionels. Regardless, we do know that they're interesting characters, and I would like to do some more theories on these Lionels on where they came from in the Zelda timeline. So, if you found this theory to be interesting, please leave a like or subscribe, for it really does help. I'm going to be talking more about the Zelda franchise and theories in the long run. Anyway, have a good night, and thank you.